have been attending church for many years and I have gone through many tribulations, but the Lord has always been by my side. And he has always said to me that he is by my side and not to fear, but to press forward. And I have always prayed and cried out to him and the Lord always helps me. A year ago, I was diagnosed with colon cancer and I was not able to have the surgery as the tumor was too large. I had chemotherapy and radiotherapy and after the treatment, they told me I needed to rest for three months before the next round of tests. Today, I went to see the proctologist to show her my test results. And I gave the glory and the honor to the Lord, who is the one that does all works. And I was very calm as I was feeling well and trusting in the promise of my Heavenly Father. And so I gave the doctor my test results. And she said that the malignant tumor had disappeared and it looked all looked good. And from now on, I just had to watch what I eat. But she congratulated me because that malignant tumor had disappeared. I give the glory and the honor to the Lord because as we have learned from the sermons, God always fulfills in his time. Let us never lose faith as I never did. I always prayed and cried out to him and praised him even though I was in pain because chemo and radiotherapy was very painful. But here I am giving the glory to God because he never let go of my hand and I was always steadfast and pressed on. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you. My soul glorifies the Lord. My soul I testified about the teaching that when I was a newcomer here at the church, I was very rebellious. And because I was in the world and I didn't know anything about the church, I read many books. My dad had a library and I read many books. I chose them, I read them, and I read about personal growth, things that were weird, mysterious and everything. And the Lord said to me in prophecy one day, he said, you must believe in my word. Man, it's not wise compared to my wisdom and my words. And I didn't obey. I continued reading the books, apparently, to have uh, self-success. But I had a dream with Sister Maria Luisa because I was recent and I didn't value her the way I value her now. And she was at a store and I entered to the store and I saw the showcases and they were completely empty. And next to the showcases, there were trash bags and there were a bunch of books in the trash bags. And the only book that was in the showcase that she had in front of her, it was the Bible and it was open. And because I was so rebellious, I didn't understand the path of the Lord either. He said, she said to me, brother, read Proverbs 16, which is about life and conduct. And I read it. And from there on, I began to only read the Bible. And I want to testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. God, my precious Lord, my soul glorifies the Lord, my soul glorifies the To give the honor and glory to God, I testify that in October of 2018, after suffering from great pain in my back that prevented me from breathing well, and I could also not find a comfortable position to sleep in. I was hospitalized and underwent many tests where oncologists confirmed that I had cancer, and they gave me three months to live because they believed it was impossible for someone in my condition could be healed. Multiple myeloma is a type of blood cancer and severely damages the bones. A year ago in prophecy, the Lord said that the devil was begging for my life, but that he would not allow such thing to happen. To pray because the devil wanted to leave me bedridden so that I don't serve him, but that he would protect my life and that I should pray because I was going to be visiting the doctors. Because of God's mercy, I started chemotherapy that was successful, thanks to God. A few months after, the oncologist was shocked because the tests that were done all came back great. And if I continued on track, I could qualify to become a candidate to receive a bone marrow transplant. I consistently prayed to God at all times I asked him to allow me to return to the church. The Lord helped me because through the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation, I received a wheelchair so that I could go to my chemotherapy appointments and attend church. 
With regard to the bone marrow transplant, my family and I prayed a lot to God, asking him whether I should go ahead with the procedure, and I received a response through his beloved daughter, our sister Maria Luisa, and everything was done according to the will of God. The Lord opened doors in a very prestigious hospital in my insurance network, and he also placed many helpers along the way, which made everything a success. The Lord also gave me dreams with Sister Maria Luisa, in which she laid hands on me, and her hands were beautiful. The sleeves of the dress she was wearing glimmered in the light. After a few months of the transplant, I had a biopsy done to get a better understanding of my state of health. The doctors were shocked because everything was back to normal. And for the honor and glory of God, I am healed. I want to thank God for the promise he made me that I wouldn't die from that cancer and that I would once again serve him and his promise was fulfilled. Before we were confined to our homes, I attended church and I thank God and I asked him to strengthen me every day so that I can continue serving and loving him even more, especially because of that miracle he had done for me haven't given me a second chance at life. I also want to thank his ministry, the support that he gives to his beloved daughter every day. I also testify to give the honor and glory to the Lord that I did not have to spend one single dollar because God provided me with everything. I have testified to honor my heavenly father.